Have you gotten an email from Amazon Flex offering you a scheduled trip? I got one doing Amazon Fresh grocery deliveries and it worked really well. Let me tell you about it. The shift is 6.30 to 8.30 and actually right now it is 7.42 and let me tell you why. That's good, it does the entire cart. You can see that that's not that many. So I started off, it just said three stops and it actually wasn't that much. I put one order in the trunk and the other two here in the car and it was in a nearby town, very smooth. Well, when I finished the order, it says, come back to the waiting area, had me drive back and I'm waiting now in the parking lot to see if I get any more orders for the next 45 minutes. So I hope I do, that would be great money if they give me another offer. I do find it interesting that they want me to come back because I finished the work, but I'm on a schedule. So I'm not really sure how that works. I've heard for package deliveries, you accept a shift, you finish it early and you're done. You don't have to commit to more. So has this happened to you? Please share in the comments below on what kind of information you have and did it work out that you got more orders? So let me tell you about these orders so far, since we're waiting here for a trip. The first drop off, the GPS was wrong on my phone and I was a little bit lazy. I didn't look at the building number. Thankfully, I have my cart with me. So I loaded up all the groceries and instead of putting them back in the car and driving around to the other side of the complex, I just walked across. Definitely glad I have this wagon. Look at that. Got them all. And I had to go up a hill one time. Ah, oh, come on. And I carried some up the stairs. but that's okay. The drop off went relatively smooth. There was one bag that had chicken in it. I don't think it was leaking, but because it was refrigerated, the bag had broken. And so I put that right up front for the customer to see. That way they wouldn't be surprised and spill it on the ground. So I did have to call support for that and it was easy. They went ahead and fixed it in the system so I could continue doing the deliveries. The next one was pretty easy. It was in an apartment. And I, again, I used my cart because it was far away from where the parking was and there was no street access. So again, that folding cart is really good for doing grocery deliveries. That one was pretty smooth and you can see that it looked pretty good. The third one, this was the good one with the two cases of water. I already was expecting this, but I was surprised to see the note saying that it was upstairs. So this time I parked and I walked around to make sure there was no surprise. And that was the only upstairs apartment. I didn't want to really commit to taking everything to one spot and then find out it's the wrong one because the address building was labeled, but not on the door. It ended up working out and I did it smoothly.
Overall, I was very satisfied. The offer was $48, and then they said I would get up to $76, the rest being tips. We'll see how it goes. If I get $5 for each drop-off, that would be $15. That would be nice. And again, I finished it within pretty much a little over an hour. So I'm patiently waiting here to see if I get another order. It's 8.01 right now. It was nice. I was inside. I uh, got a coffee there from Amazon Fresh. And I was talking with the gentleman that does the packaging. And he said that they drop the orders at the top of the hour. Because I had mentioned this is my first time doing the scheduled shift. And so he said, yeah, at the top of the hour, that's when they release the orders. And then they come to the driver's. So I've got 30 more minutes and I'll abide by my contract with them. I have two minutes until my scheduled shift ends. If I end up not getting an order, I did commit to that full time period, but that was quite a few miles to come back here. I could have been doing other food delivery orders. But if I get an order here in two minutes, then I'm going to be very happy that the app made me come back. All right, it's 8.30. Let's see what it... Oh, it automatically did it. It said, uh, huh. All right, it said my shift is over. All right, free to go. Hello, I am Russ from the future, which is now in the past as you're watching this. Wanted to give you a quick update. I did another early bird delivery, and despite how I feel about it, it doesn't matter. In the app, when you finish the run, it clearly tells you you have a new stop. And then when you select that, it tells you to return to the station. Once you get to the station, there's another thing that pops up and says, I've parked. Once you click that, then instructions come up and say, wait here near the entrance and basically be ready for new orders to be assigned. So I thought that would be helpful for you and it's helpful for me. It doesn't really matter how I feel because that's the app that we're using and they're paying us very well for our time, so I don't mind. I'm always so happy anytime I can get an Amazon Flex order and I'll link a video up here for your consideration next of another Amazon Flex trip that I did doing Amazon Fresh deliveries. Please do like the channel, that way you know when I come out with new content and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget, please put in the comments below your experiences. Have you gotten an email from Amazon Flex offering you a scheduled trip in advance? How did it go for you?